Good afternoon, and today I want to talk to you about smartphones. Now, I know at these events, technology is really high praise and really positive, but I'm going to take the counter argument. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the security implications of these handheld computers. So, just first off, cell phones carry everything about our lives in them, from our contacts to our email to our calendar, our text messages. I can go on and on and on. But the thing is, the technology is, how much is too much? Your life is completely in this small device the size of your, of your hand. And it would be a shame for you to lose this device or to misplace it. And your life is then in chaos because you don't know <laughs> your emails or what you're doing the next day. Which leads me to my first topic, security. And is your phone locked? Because the very first step into securing your phone, in case you lose it so no one else rummages through your stuff, is a security passcode. Simple as that. Every single smartphone has a little screen that, when you first log onto your phone, requires a password before you can access the phone's information which is a great feature in case you lose your phone. But I know I left my phone, I think it was at home, and I was going to school, and I completely forgot about it. And I had to you know, go all the way back to my phone, because I didn't know who was you know, going to message me or you know, what I was going to get emails with. But the thing that struck me was, what if I left it somewhere else in public? I wouldn't want anyone else to get that information. Now, these are the two major smartphone developers, Android and Apple. Now, how many of you have one of these phones? By a show of hands. Yeah, OK. So chances are, right now, you're being tracked. Simple as that. Now, you may be thinking, oh, well, you know, this is, this is life now. This is technology in this day and age. So you may not care. But what you may not know is that how geotagging and geolocation in your smartphone is intertwined with other technologies in the phone. See, each cell phone has a GPS which communicates with a global positioning satellite in space, which tracks the latitude and the longitude of your location on the Earth. Now see, when you take a picture, this then is put onto the picture itself, along with the date and you know, all the other relevant information on what makes a picture. Now, the security risk here is that you may be very good at keeping your address off the internet, which, by the way, is Security 101. Now, let's say it's you know, hol holidays, you get a gift, and you open the gift, and it's a smartphone, and you start taking pictures. And you post this, this picture on a very popular social media site. Well, it kind of defeats the purpose if it's geotagged and your address is in the photos. Another really cool aspect of smartphones is their applications. Because smartphones wouldn't be nearly as cool if they didn't have Angry Birds. <laughs> now, what am I getting at here? Every single smartphone has millions and millions of different applications it can choose from to, what it, to operate on the phone. Now see, the developers of the software of the phone build maybe less than 1% of these applications of millions, which means these are millions of applications that are not originally built on the phone. So it's kind of like having a car mechanic work on an airplane, right? They, they could probably do the job, but wouldn't be quite the same. Now, you see, some of these applications are hastily built from time pressures and so on. But the issue here is that if they're built so fast and without the security in mind, sometimes they leak information. Now, the issue comes along when the application is essentially built to harvest your information, such as marketing or, even more important, information security that's related to your identity, so identity theft. Wi-Fi. Everyone loves Wi-Fi. It allows us to use someone else's wireless information so we don't have to pay money <laughs> to use our phone. Now, there was a saying once, you pay for what you get. Well, what are you paying for when you use the coffee shop's free Wi-Fi? 
Nothing. So what are you getting? Absolutely no security benefits whatsoever. See, all your information is flying freely through the air for anyone to grab. Now, I, for one, wouldn't want someone to grab my email from the air and start reading it. And the newest piece of technology related to smartphones is the use of QR codes or quick response codes. Now, you may have seen these around, maybe in newspapers or advertising. But what happens here is that you get an application on your phone, and you take a photo of this QR code, and it sends it to a website. See, this is way easier than having to remember www.something, something, 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 something com. It's way easier. But here's the issue here. Where are you going? So for all you know, you could be heading to this site. <laughs> I, for one, wouldn't want to go to this site on my computer or my smartphone. Right? And if you did take a photo of that, it's to TEDx conference. So it's OK. <laughs> I'm not tracking your phone at this moment. So the issue that I want to bring to you today is to think twice about what you're getting with technology. See, I'm a big supporter of technology, but I caution to think critically about what am I getting out of it and what am I losing out of it? Because there's going to be hundreds, hundreds of new ideas coming all across the world. For once, uh, I know MIT has developed a computer chip that functions as a brain, primitively, but it does. So I question you to think, what are the security implications of this? What am I getting out of this? as long as the benefits and negatives. So that's my time. Thank you. <laughs>